What's up, Japanese baseball betters? This is Caesar with Japanese Baseball TV, and today we have one bet for the MPB Japanese Baseball schedule. Today is Sunday. It's October 4th. Uh, the games will be played starting at 1 p.m. in the afternoon on Sunday in Japan, which is 9 p.m. Saturday night in Arizona. So yesterday we had two wins and one loss. And, you know, as we do more games, every day is a learning uh, curve. And I learned something new yesterday to not trust my first five inning numbers. Uh, I don't think I've won a first five inning bet. Maybe I've won one, but not success. Uh, not a good success rate betting first five inning numbers this season so I'm gonna stay away from them even when my numbers say I am gonna track the results but I'm not going to bet them because just not having uh, good success so today's baseball jersey uh, this is Kodil High School and this is from Nara Prefecture so this is a uh, Kodil High School from Nara Prefecture it's kind of a nice jersey it's it's like a maroon and gold uh, nice lettering a uh, nice patch. It's got the prefecture there. Um, so this is one of my one of my nicer high school jerseys, which I do like. Um, so enough about the jersey, and let's get on to the games today. We only have one bet today, uh, but let's go through the games. Uh, the first game is Chunichi versus uh, DNA. Uh, Chunichi is starting Matsuba. DNA is starting Onuki. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have the total at eight, and the bookie has it at eight point five. So there's no, not enough discrepancy there uh, to bet it. Uh, my first seven pitcher numbers uh, indicate six point nine. Uh, both pitchers pretty strong in the first uh, five inning, first seven inning. So you know a possible under bet in this game but I'm not going to do it because my number and the bookie number is too similar. Uh, my numbers say the Bay Stars have a 61% chance of winning the game uh, which projects to minus 163 odds which is 1.62 uh, but the bookie is only offering 1.5. Um, maybe take DNA on a three-way money line to pump your odds up a little bit. I'm not going to do it. Uh, because Matsuba is a lefty and DNA is only hitting 240 <clears throat> against lefties. So I'm leaving it alone. If you look down here, the starting pitcher, DNA has the advantage. Bullpen, DNA has the advantage. And lineup, DNA has the advantage. So yeah, in this particular situation, I do like to bet the favorite. However, uh, if you look at Matsuba's numbers for Chunichi, uh, he strikes out six per nine, but he doesn't walk anyone. So I think Matsuba is going to have a pretty uh, strong game in this one. So I don't trust DNA to win the game. Plus DNA is hitting cold. Chunichi is hitting hot. So it's strength against strength, uh, which is going to give. I don't know. So there's no bet for me in this game. Next game we have the uh, Yomiuri Giants going against the Hanshin Tigers. Uh, Togo, the magnificent rookie, is going against Akiyama for uh, the Tigers. Akiyama is a great pitcher. Uh, it's probably a top 15 pitcher in Japan. Uh, Togo having an excellent rookie season. Uh, my total is projected to be 7.3. The bookie has it at 6.5. So a low scoring game for sure. Um, my numbers say... <clears throat> bet over 6.5. I'm not going to do it though because Togo, Akiyama, they're both really good. Two teams with fairly good bullpens as well. I'm not betting it over in this game. Uh, my numbers also say to take Hanshin here. Um, my numbers have Hanshin as the favor favorite. Um, so uh, I'm projecting Hanshin at 1.89 odds and the bookie's offering 2.35. So my numbers say bet Hanshin here. I'm not going to though because Togo is just pitching incredibly well. Uh, the Giants have the starting pitcher advantage, they have the bullpen advantage, and they have the lineup advantage. So there's no way I'm taking an underdog in this situation. If you look at the numbers for the last three years projected, 
Um, Akiyama walks only 1.4 people per nine, and uh, not a great strikeout rate, but his whip is 1.07. So yeah, this is going to be a low-scoring game. Um, Hunching's cold at the plate right now. The uh, Yomiuri Giants are pretty hot at the plate right now. What do you expect? They have the best lineup. Uh, so no, I'm staying away from this game. Uh, should be fun to watch. I will probably have a live stream on my Twitter for this game if you want to watch it live. Uh, but I'm not going to bet it. So let's go to the next game. Next game we have Hiroshima Carp versus the Yakult Swallows. So we have the second worst and the worst bullpens going against each other. We have two terrible starting pitchers going against each other. Uh, Nakamura for Hiroshima and Yoshida Dai for uh, Yakult. Um, this is played at Jingu. I project the runs to be 10.3. The bookie has it at 10.5. Um, I project this to be neck and neck tight game. Bookie also has it at neck and neck, pretty much a toss up. Uh, so there's going to be no bet on the side. There's going to be no bet on the total here. Um, no team run bet either. Um, my numbers say first five total should be over, but I looked at the first five total and it's six. Uh, that's like a full game over under, not our first five over under, so that's really high. In any case, we should see a lot of runs in this game. Uh, I'm not going to bet it. As you can see, 63% of Yakult's games go over eight runs, and Hiroshima's games, 56% go over eight runs. So we have a 60% chance of this going over eight. Um, if you want to take the alternative line, uh, over 7.5 should have a good chance to cash, but your odds are going to be like minus 350 or something like that. So if you want to uh, bet $300 to win $100 that it goes over 8, I wouldn't argue with that bet at all, but I'm not going to make it. Um, so we have two terrible pitchers, two terrible bullpens, two so-so lineups. Should be entertaining. Uh, I think yesterday this game was 13 to 2, the Carp won. So, next game. This game we actually do have a bet on. So, this is our one bet for the day. We've got the Cebu Lions going against the Lote Marines. This is played at Zozo Marine. We got Matsumoto for the Lions going against Mima for the uh, Lote Marines. Um, my over under has it at 8.8. .8. Uh, the bookie has it at 7.5. So that gives us quite a bit of value on the over under. Um, regarding the side, the Marines are a slight favorite according to my numbers. The bookie has it pretty much exactly as my numbers are. So I'm not betting a side on this. Um, the team totals 3535. Five. There's no value here as you can see. Um, and no first five. Um, I am going to bet the over 7.5, and I'll show you why right here. Um, as you can see, um, if you look at these starting pitchers' numbers uh, for the last three years weighted, they both have a 4-plus ERA. They both have about a 1.4 whip, which is pretty high in Japan. Um, Mima has a, a decent strikeout rate and a decent uh, balls, uh, balls per nine innings rate. Matsumoto's is terrible, um, but the reason I'm betting this game, number one, my numbers say to bet it, uh, but number two, if you look at, uh, Mima has faced uh, Seibu one time, and he got crushed, uh, 9.5 ERA, uh, and Matsumoto faced Lote one time, and he got crushed with an 11, 2.5 ERA, um, so I look at that, you know, his ERA, Mima's ERA on the season is 4-6. Matsumoto's is 3-9. That's in 14 starts for each of them. Uh, neither pitcher is great. Mima's a little bit better. But the head-to-head -head numbers uh, just tell me that 7.5 is low. If it was 8.5, I wouldn't bet it. But 7.5, that's pretty low. So I'm going to bet the over on this, even though both teams are hitting fairly cold this last week. Uh, we're going to take over 7.5 in the Cebu Lions uh, Lote Marines game. And I got those odds at minus 116, which is 1.86. Uh, 
Um, let, next game is the Rakuten Eagles versus the uh, Oryx Buffalo. So uh, this is a tale of two pitchers I have no idea what to expect from. Uh, Oryx pitcher is Miyagi. He's never pitched in the pros before. Uh, he's a left-hander. Uh, but we have no idea what to expect from him because he's never pitched before. And then we have Takinaka for uh, Rakuten. Uh, he's got a really high whip. Uh, he's got a really high ERA. This is his first season. Uh, my numbers say take the Buffaloes, take Oryx uh, at 2.0 odds. Mm, I can't do it though because there's just a, too many unknowns in this game. Um, if I was to bet anything, uh, maybe I would take the Oryx over three and a half runs because Oryx is hitting really hot right now. Um, Adam Jones, uh, you know, they got some hitters that are stepping up. Moya, Moya is, is stepping up and hitting right now. Uh, T. Okada is stepping up and hitting right now. So maybe the Oryx. Uh, over three and a half team total. Uh, I, I wouldn't disagree with taking that. Uh, but then again, Oryx only averages about 3.1 runs a game. So you're going to have to you're going to have to hope that Takinaka is is bad today, and he has been bad for most of the season. But you're relying on a really terrible uh, lineup, probably the second worst lineup in Japan, to get four runs in this game. They probably can, but I'm not confident enough to uh, bet big on it. Maybe put a couple shekels on it uh, just for fun. Uh, but not a not not a full unit bet. Next game. Uh, we've got the Nippon Ham Fighters going against the SoftBank Hawks. So yesterday this was one of our winners. We had the Hawks uh, on the three-way money line. They came through. They won two to one. Uh, Hawks games are almost always low scoring. They only go over seven and a half, 44 percent of the time. Uh, my numbers say this is going to be 8.7 runs. The bookie has 7.5. I'm not betting overs uh, on SoftBank games. I told you that in earlier videos. My numbers also say take Nippon Ham over two and a half, but WADA is going uh, for the Hawks. And if you look at WADA's three years weighted, it's got a one, two, three whip. Uh, he walks quite a few, but he strikes out a lot. And if you take a look at what Wada does directly uh, against the fighters, he's got a 397 ERA, two games, one win, and no losses. Um, so I would consider taking the Nippon Ham uh, team total. But look, Wada, since, since June. His ERA is sub three, and he's getting better and better and better. In September, in three starts, his ERA is two one six. So I'm definitely that's enough to talk me off of not taking the over two and a half team total for Nippon Ham. Just not going to do it. Wada has been unbelievable. Um, my numbers say the Hawks win this in a in a runaway. They have the starting pitcher advantage. They have the bullpen advantage and they have the lineup advantage. So uh, my numbers say take them at 152. The bookie, bookie is offering 140, which is just not good enough. Um, if anything, maybe take SoftBank on a three way money line. Um, but then again, Kawano for the fighters, he's not, he's not a bad pitcher. But in two games against SoftBank, uh, his last game against them, he gave up five runs in four innings and in two starts against him he has a 6.75 ERA so I would consider taking SoftBank on the three-way money line uh, if the odds are better than minus 160 I would take that um, they should win they're at home uh, as you can see their home record is 23 and 12 uh, so yeah maybe maybe SoftBank Hawks on a three-way money line I'm not confident enough to do it so I'm going to stay away from that bet so today our only bet is the Cebu Lions versus the Lote Marines we're gonna go over seven and a half runs so that's the bet for today again today's jersey is Koryo High School from Nara 
It's a beautiful jersey, actually. Uh, so, uh, again, I'll be back with more videos, more jerseys. Uh, and also, if you follow me on Twitter, the uh, my Twitter is below. Uh, I will have live uh, links uh, to live streamed Japanese baseball games if you want to watch them with me. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Uh, happy betting, and let's win. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll be back soon.